This video is being sponsored by Monvict. Hi everyone, it's Sherry and welcome back to another video. If you're new, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. And if you're part of the Odie But Goody squad, welcome back. So you guys know I've been decorating in my living room and I wanted to add more decor pieces without breaking the bank. So I'm coming to you guys with four DIY decor projects. All of these items I use are from the Dollar Tree, so they're inexpensive and easy to do. I'm also reviewing a new item, you guys. I'm so excited for you to see this new product. If you wanna see how everything turned out, just keep watching and don't forget to like, it, to comment, the video. and share this video. For the first DIY project, I'm using the garden dish and the prep bowls. I'm removing all of these stickers and labels off of these items. I'm gonna give it a good clean and then it'll be ready to be hot glued. I was recently reached out from a company on Amazon. They wanted me to review their product. I was so surprised, appreciative, and thankful the fact that a company even looked at my channel and wanted me to review their product. I received this glue gun from Monvict. This is how I receive the product. It comes with a manual, which is very important to read before operating, 12 full glue sticks, another small manual to help you operate the glue gun, of course the glue gun with a cord, and three finger protectors, just in case if you are clumsy like myself. This is everything in the box and what I'm using to do this DIY. Before operating, you want to make sure you put the glue stick within the glue gun, squeeze the trigger until the glue stick is firmly engaged, and then plug the cord within the glue gun. The best feature on this glue gun is that it has an on button, and you can set this to two different temperature settings. The single line at the top is 80 watts, and the double line at the bottom is 120 watts. I'm going to use the 120 watts, and the light indicator on the back is going to be yellow since I chose the 120 watts. If I chose the 80 watts, it would change to red. I allowed the glue gun to preheat for about three minutes and then put glue on the bottoms of the garden dish and the prep bowls and then merge the bottoms together. I did these steps one more time and I love the fact that when I'm not using the glue gun, I can easily set it aside and it stands on its own so I don't have to worry about it sticking or damaging anything that's close by. And as you see, the glue is very strong and durable and those two items aren't going anywhere. I spray painted both of these items black and this is how they turned out. For the second project, I'm doing the same thing, except I'm using these two bowls and these two cups. I chose two different heights for the cups. I'm gluing the bottom of each item and then merging them together. I started running low on the first glue stick, so I inserted a second one following the same process. You guys, this glue gun is so easy to use and is very lightweight. After gluing and spray painting these black, this is how they turned out.
For the third project, I'm switching the temperature from 120 watts to 80 watts. I'm going to be gluing these tea light candle holders and the round glass candle holders together, spray painting them gold, and this is how they turned out. For the last and final project, I'm using the floral foams and the skewers. These came so many in a pack and they're very thick. I'm only using two. I cut one a foot and a half and the other seven inches and I use my hand saw to cut these skewers. After cutting the skews, I twist each ball foam around each skew and then use my hot glue gun to secure each one. I used a separate skewer and did the same thing to the floor rings. I inserted the skewer and twisted around so that the skewers with the balls were able to insert and stick. After spray painting, I did not like how these turned out. I hate when I have a vision in my head, but when I bring it to life, it's just not the same. Luckily, I still had the hot glue gun on, and so I needed to do a few tweaks. I was able to still use this hot glue gun detached. This is the second best feature about this glue gun is that you can still use it detached. Granted, you can't use it for two hours, but the longer the cord is on and attached to the glue gun, the longer you can use the glue gun detached. This came in so handy, you guys. I was able to do a few tweaks here and there on this project, and this is how it all came out. I love how all four of my decor projects came out. They were very easy to do and it makes a big impact in my living room. Same for the hot glue gun. It's very easy to use and the features on it makes a big impact. Thank you again to Monvict for allowing me to review this product. If you're into crafts or DIYs like myself, you need this hot glue gun. If you're interested, I will have everything about the product in the description box down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed all of these DIY projects. Leave me a comment down below. Which project do you see yourself making at home or which one was your favorite? Mine's was the ring tier. Though I had to make some tweaks, usually the one that gives you the hardest time always comes out the best. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching again, and I'll talk to you in the next video.